Well, we're all ready to go, so we're going to have this baptism first thing. If you're watching online tonight, you're in for a real special treat as Stephen Welch is about to follow Jesus in the waters of believer's baptism. I want to explain to everyone who's gathered here, to those watching online, uh, what believer's baptism is all about and why we do it. Uh, first of all, what is it? Well, I'm standing here in waist-deep water, and uh, it's not holy water, but it is warm water, so we're thankful for that. And uh, I am going to, in a few moments, invite Steve to join me here in the water. And what we're going to do is, Steve is going to answer a few questions. And in giving his affirmative responses, he is going to bear public witness to the fact that he is a follower of Jesus Christ. And he is doing this because that's what Jesus has told us to do. Jesus said to bear witness for him. And if you are ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. And so this is an important step of Christian discipleship. Really, it's the, the first step of following Jesus. And if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, and if you've never been baptized as a believer, then you need to be baptized as a believer to give public testimony for your faith in Jesus Christ. Unashamed to be a follower of Jesus. We get baptized because Jesus was baptized. Many people will say, I'm a Christian, or I'm a follower of Jesus. And we might ask, well, have you been baptized as Jesus was baptized? And if the answer is no, then it's hard to say that you're willing to be a follower of Jesus. Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. He came to John the Baptist in the Jordan, and John said, Lord, I should be baptized by you, not by me. And Jesus said, let it be so to fulfill all righteousness. And just as Stephen is going to be baptized by going under the water and coming up out of the water, that's how Jesus was baptized. That's how the apostles were baptized. That's how they baptized people in the book of Acts. Also, Jesus commanded that we baptize others. He said, go into all the world and make disciples of all peoples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to observe everything I've commanded you. So we get baptized in obedience to Christ. Again, if you want to be a follower of Jesus, you should do the things that Jesus did, right? If you want to be a follower of Jesus, you should be willing to obey the commands of Jesus. And the third, we get baptized as a public profession before a great group of witnesses, which you are all witnesses. Baptism has been called the believer's wedding ceremony. When my lovely wife and I met in college, we fell fast into friendship and then quickly into love and then quickly started making marriage plans. But that day in December, outside Atlanta, Georgia, when we made our vows in front of many gathered Witnesses, that was not the day that our relationship began, was it? That day of our marriage. The day of our marriage was a day when we made it formal, when we proclaimed it to everyone else. And that's kind of what baptism is. It's not the day your relationship with Jesus begins, it's the day that you make it public, the day that you declare to everyone what has happened. Because baptism, the fourth reason we get baptized is because of what it symbolizes being buried with Christ through baptism into his death and raised with Christ to live a new life. In just a moment, you'll see Steve as he goes all the way under the water, just like being buried in the ground with Jesus, and then coming up out of the water, that resurrection triumph, being raised with Christ to live a new life. That's what baptism symbolizes. You can read about it in Romans chapter 6. So that's why we baptize. That's why we do it in the way that we do it. And we're excited uh, for Steve and him following Jesus. Our prayer is that as he's baptized, he will hear the voice of God speak to him as the voice spoke from, to Jesus from heaven. Well done. This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So this time, let's greet Steve as he joins me in the waters of Christian baptism. All right, let's give him a round of applause and encourage him a little bit today. Amen, amen. We are so excited to have Steve, and Steve has been taking a part in a special class that we have for people that make their own personal decision to get baptized, and he has faithfully attended the class. He's been here on time, 
even on days when I was running late, he was here ready to go, had his homework assignments completed ahead of time, and could tell this really meant a lot to Steve. And one thing that Steve told me and over the course of these meetings was that he just couldn't explain the work that God was doing in him and how the Holy Spirit was really uh, filling up his heart and his life and just really coming upon him in a way that he had never experienced before. And so that is such a beautiful testimony to God's grace in his life. And before I ask you a few questions, Steve, you wanted to recite a, a Bible verse and also say a couple of brief things. My, <laughs> my Bible verse, John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And what I want to say is I want to thank Pastor Jason and his wife for opening, opening their arms and everybody here at my new church family. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Steve, earlier tonight, you know you were there. We, as a church, uh, voted that upon your baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that you would be welcomed into our church as a full member of the body of Christ here at Montrose. And so, upon your baptism, we are excited uh, to welcome you into our family of believers here at Montrose Baptist Church. And I have a few questions to ask you. First of all, Steve, have you sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? Yes, I have. And Steve, do you believe that Jesus died upon the cross for your sins and rose from the grave on the third day? Yes, I do. Steve, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world? Yes, with all my heart. And Steve, are you being baptized today to tell everyone here that you are an unashamed follower of Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm not ashamed at all. Amen. And here and, and on YouTube. Amen. Amen. Unashamed. Unashamed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Stephen Welsh, on the basis of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and in obedience to the command of Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Buried with Christ through baptism into his death, raised with Christ to live a new life. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Stephen Welsh, a sinner of your own redeeming. We thank you that he is a member of the body of Christ. We thank you for the work that you're going to do through him as he shines the light and love of Jesus everywhere he goes. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.